Hello everyone, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you, guard you, and keep you safe. Today I want to bring a few messages from the Lord. The first message came to me in a vision, and in the vision I saw the number 1241. That was the only thing I saw in the vision. I woke up, wrote down the number, and I looked in strong concordance for the meaning. And it means to gird around, to tie it around. It's like when someone is getting ready for something or to prepare for action. And it also means ox, but I believe that the Lord wants us to be prepared. The Holy Spirit also guided me to Proverbs chapter 31, verse 17, and it says, She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. All glory be to Yahweh, Almighty Jesus, you are the only one worthy to be praised. All praises be to you, Almighty Jawe. Not long ago, I made a video where the Lord gave me understanding that He is about to outstretch His right arm again to save and to judge. Many will be working with the Lord in these last days, and we must be ready for the battle. I believe this battle will be spiritual and physical. You can see what's going on all around us with the B mandates. You know what the B we cannot say the word anymore because they will remove those videos. The B mandates it's getting worse and worse, trying to force even children to take that. The Lord also gave me Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 17, and it says, Though therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. This message is very strong. We, the people that were chosen to bring the message of the Lord to humanity in these last days, we have a great obligation. If we don't do or say what the Lord commands us, we will be accountable. That's why it's very important that we bring the message as it's been given to us. If people refuse to listen, at least we did our job to warn them, and their blood will not be in our hands. In Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 to 19, it says, when I say to a wicked person, you will surely die, and you do not warn them or speak out to dissuade them from their evil ways in order to save their life, the wicked person will die for their sin, and I will hold you accountable for their blood. But if you do warn the wicked person, and they do not turn from their wickedness or from their evil ways, they will die for their sin, but you will have saved yourself. I'm not here to be popular, but to give the message of the Lord as it's been given to me. Some of these messages can be very strong. They are messages of God to humanity. The times that we are living right now are critical. I'm not going to sugarcoat his messages. Yes, the rapture is coming. It's imminent, but only God knows when will that happen. That way we need to be ready at all times. We don't have to be perfect because no one is perfect in this world. That's why we need to repent daily, continue to walk in the narrow path because the path towards heaven is very narrow, but it's not impossible. You will find it quite interesting because when we walk through the narrow path, you will know God because when the enemy tries to put us down, God will raise us up. Then you will know that God will never leave us, neither forsake us, especially in hard times. Many ask, how can we be ready? We must accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. There is no other Savior. It's only through Jesus Christ that we can go to heaven. In John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In John chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Read the Word of God, the Bible. Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciple. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. God doesn't expect us to be perfect, because none of us is perfect. What he wants from us is obedience. Keep God first always, love one another, treat others the way you want to be treated, with respect. Our time in this life is very short. What will last forever is after this life, and there's only two places where we will be going. 
and that's either heaven or hell. We choose now for tomorrow is not promised. God loves us very much. He doesn't want any of us to perish forever, but to have everlasting life. Jesus is coming back very soon. We can see the signs everywhere. The bird pains are increasing. Many will say, well, you guys have been saying this for a very long time, and nothing happens. Let me tell you, our time is not the time of God, for we can live a thousand years, but for our God can only be a day. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 42 to 44, it says, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Be ready, be prepared. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming very soon.